What's going on lads? How's it going? Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video um, Just because I don't I'm not I haven't got my GoPro on me. So bear with me. I'm using my phone um, But I did want to get this video done um, But today we're going to be dewipering the R32 So if I quickly turn the camera around This is how we are now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the boot Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and get the wiper off today uh, since you guys since I was like last spoke to you guys um, a lot has actually changed with the car um, I've got the whole car ceramic coated hello um, got the whole car ceramic coated I changed the engine oil um, what else have I done not really a lot I got the uh, dash cam mounted otherwise I've just been keep, I've just been keeping on top of like keeping it clean and keeping it all tidy inside um, but otherwise, I've literally just been working all the time to get the uh, pay for all the mods. So, um, yeah, so basically, it's gonna be, should be quite an easy video. I've got the bung here, which is basically, um, if anybody has seen my video about the Audi A3 and how I changed the wiper with that, I think it's gonna be basically the same sort of job, um, probably even the same panels. So it looks like it'll probably be oh, obviously the lights, the lights are on the boot with this this car, so it might be a bit different. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll get started. I'll try and get this panel off now, and then we'll go from there. I've got some gloves on now. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take off this little cover, which basically covers over the bolt. There we go. Just a little bit of force. Get it off. How does that come off? It pulls off like that. Okay, get that off and out of the way. I actually got some more tools as well. I've got this um, tool kit. Um, basically, it's well, it's not really a tool kit, it's just a box basically. Uh, but it did come with some tools, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, I still got the same tools and all my little bits and bobs I got around here. Um, but otherwise, same old. Uh, so that looks like a 13. Grab myself 13. Twelve, thirteen. Okay. Now hopefully So that's come off. I'm not really worried about the nut coming off, it's actually getting the wiper off itself it can be quite difficult, but I'm hoping won't be too bad, but we'll find out now. Okay, yeah. Wiper off. Uh, it was actually a bit of a pain. Um, so what you have to do is really is just tap it, get as WD-40 on it, um, and then I used a long uh, screwdriver and a cloth and basically pried it underneath the arm and then pulled up and it actually came up but you do need like tap it all around if it is really bad looks like someone's actually had this off before and greased it a little bit there um but that didn't really help to be honest so i'm gonna go ahead and start cracking on with trying to get these panels off the back here it should be pretty easy uh, from what I can see, it looks like it stops here, so that will be just a straight pull down, pull down, take these off, just in case there's any screws to hold this panel on, which does not look like there is, so that looks good, take that side off as well, there we go, and then I think... Oh, I think it might be screws in here. Yeah, there is. So there's two screws, one each side, and then I think the rest will be um, will be uh, clips. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is the water hose for when you're sprinkling your windscreen, your rear windscreen, even though it's dripping all over my, my lovely boot. Um, so yeah, you basically just pull that clip back and you just pop it off and she's solid, she's a good one. And this, it was in there like that. I used a flat head screwdriver and just pried that back a little bit and she's a good one as well. So just put 
that there for now. And now we just get three bolts here. That'll come off, and then we're good. We'll go from there. Okay, lads. So I've just taken out the three bolts here. Um, this is your wiper, uh, wiper motor. It literally just basically fell out. So that came straight out. And this is what you're left with. You got your, yeah, yeah, you got them too. And then this is sort of your little seal. So you want to push this through. And there she goes. And then you got this lovely looking hole. Um, which if you don't have the, if you don't have the little plug, then you are absolutely screwed. But luckily I do have it here somewhere. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get some window cleaner on this, clean this all up. Um, and then I've got some seal, sealant, uh, on the shelf over there, where is it? Uh, it's not on there, okay, that's brilliant. So I'll have to have a look for that, otherwise I am, um, I'm gonna be screwed. But anyway, I'll go ahead, clean this up, and then I'll get back to you. There with the window cleaner and that, and I've got some masking tape. And you just want to mask around the area that you'll be using sealant. I'm actually going to mask up up here as well because I don't want any sealant up here at all. I just want it to be a clean job. I don't want any freaking sealant everywhere. Uh, but can I just say how much of a stunning day it is in England right now. Um, and it has been actually for quite a little while now. It's actually been... Oh, sorry mate. It has actually been spot on weather. But um, yeah, it's been really, really warm and... Always sort of clear skies, it hasn't been rain, it hasn't rained for freaking ages, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I'm gonna put some tape on the top there, and you're also gonna want to put tape. Uh, take your little bang up, screw that over there, put that on the floor there. Uh, and you're also gonna want to put tape around Oswick, clean this window as well. Um, put some tape around this area as well, especially on the paint, um, just so it, as minimal as possible that you can get any sealant anywhere other than where you want it to be. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead to take this up and I'll come back to you guys. So I've just um, cracked on with the taping up this side and even already like, I can tell that this is gonna look freaking sick, even though the arse of this car already looks sick. And I do need to get some more, I do need to get some spaces I think for this car because I don't know, I just feel like they could be a bit more wide on the back. Like if the wheels were a bit more further out. I remember in my Audi they were um, 8.5J wheels. Uh, these are absolutely standard, so they're 7.5J. Um, but with some spaces, I reckon we'll be pretty cushy. And I reckon that will make the um, the back of this car look a lot more thicker. Um, but we'll uh, we'll get there. I have seen someone online, um, so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll get them when I can. But um, I'm going to put some more tape around this. I think, uh, actually, where's the actual thing? Yeah, so this actually goes on like that. So it will actually be sticking out a little bit, which is fine. I'm gonna put some tape up here and then I'll get back to you. Okay lads, so I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can. Uh, but basically this is the scene I have. It's super RTV silicone. Uh, good for like oils and whatnot and water obviously so I'm going to basically just put it around the edge um, cover it a little bit um, maybe put uh, I don't know if I need anything on there really but I'm going to go ahead fill this up and put it in and then I'll get back to you if I can I'll um, put the camera on, the, on here and record me putting it on but uh, yeah and uh, I'm going to have to use my glove to get it around anyway. Shout out to Jason, my main man, for you know donating this bottle to me. Because I did not actually buy this bottle. Jason actually uh, let me borrow it. And then, uh, well, I haven't given back to him yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just smother the thing. I mean, at the end of the day, I can just wipe it off. On the outside anyway, as long as it sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the car quickly, back in a sec. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Basically, I've got it in there, got the sealant on it. Um, if I pull the boot down, it looks all right. I think I do need to push it in a bit more, actually. So I'll get some more gloves and I'll get that in flush and I'll come back to you. 
what we've done now is I got it on there and it's flush. The ceiling is actually drying. She's flush, looks spot on, I'm liking it. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start blocking off the water hose, which is not here. Where is it? I've lost it. Um, um, it's there, right here, right here, I'm freaking blind. So I'm gonna go ahead and get your, your 1920 old fashioned pliers. And you just want to go ahead and you just want to, yeah, just snip it off, you know, don't give a fuck. Just fuck it off, there you go, done, did, over. So now we just got a random tube that's going to squirt out water every time if I press it, you know what I mean? But we're not going to do that, we're going to get a nice screw in there, we're going to cable tie it. We might even put some silicone in there just to make sure she's definitely all bunged up and not going to piss everywhere when we're driving. Um, and then we'll... Uh, in, got this tube all I've got a uh, little 10mm socket um, bolt in there which is actually like a wood sort of like a wood screw in there ca uh, put the silicone on it um, cable ties it turn the tube around so this sort of pinches it cable tie that put it back in the cable holder got this still dry I might start taking the tape off and um, because ideally it doesn't really matter um, if you want to start putting all the plastics back on because it doesn't actually touch it um, otherwise just freaking leave it and um, I'll go ahead give it a wipe on the other side and we should be cushy if you get one of these I'll put them in the link in there in the description this actually has a sticker a white sticker underneath all that silicone which you basically just peel off and it gets rid of any um, excess um, silicone which obviously that's a bit too much, but you know, you get the picture and wipe it all down later and hopefully it should look good. Okay lads, so basically I've just got the panel back on. Um, it was actually very easy, just basically hit around, around the panel, put the two screws in, one there, one there, even if you have an Audi A3 it'll be exactly the same. Um, now I'm missing one bit and that's this. Come on. We'll just scratch the shit out of that, but you know, it is what it is. And then this, there we go, clips back in there. That's in there, that's all good. That's all clips back in. Um, done that, done that. Uh, is this in? Yeah. So you just want to hit around. Make sure, we'll, ah, I didn't even take that bit off. <laughs> So yeah, to take, just make sure you hit it all around so all the clips are in. And then we can work on the exterior. So we'll take all this off, we'll wipe all that down, um, and then we should be done. And I just gotta tidy up all this. It's a good idea to just keep your uh, your wiper motor separate, um, keep it as well as the screws and everything. I know that I cut that little bit here. Even just hold keeping hold of this so you can keep that end and put it back on that um that line so if you ever wanted to sell the car or whatever you can crack on put it on if you wanted to put it on but um yeah i did see this was in the uh in the uh little cover panel thing there's a little bit of glass which i don't know where that's come from my <laughs> nothing's smashed so unless it's something to do with the rear lights the glasses sound so it's a bit of a weird one but anyway i'm gonna go ahead take this all off and get back to you okay lads so i've just finished up the car and it looks so much better check that out that looks so much better now that's actually a really good job i think so uh i've actually got seal it silicone on my hand that looks so much more tidier See what I mean? It just needs a little, like, a little inch more out. So it sort of looks a bit more thick. But um, one day when we have the bigger Miltec pipes on there, and if we get some lowering springs or whatnot, maybe in the future, at least we'll have this done. De wipers. That's actually a really clean job, and I will put that. Um, that bung in the description is good for Mark V, Audi A3s, S3s, um, I believe it's all the same 
um, size and basically the same <laughs> basically the same install as well so yeah I'll go ahead and give the whole car clean tomorrow um, but I'm gonna head let that dry just so I don't soak it and then it, next minute I can go water down down inside my boot but um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end this video guys if you liked make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new because I know that um, I haven't uploaded in about a month I know it's quite bad but I've just been constantly working and I need to work to buy the mods so I can record them for you guys um, but um, yeah I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna keep uploading this video uploading to this channel whether it takes a week or up to a month um, there will definitely be a video on this channel eventually so um, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.